Hi, my name is Sina Alam, and I am welcoming you to. My name is Sina Alam, and I am welcoming you to my new series that I'm going to launch in this channel, that is called View Assembly on Windows. <laughs> So in this channel, in this series, what I'm going to do, I'm going to discuss different aspects of the assembly journey. Like sometimes I'm going to discuss about the assembly preparation, some specific preparation tips, and sometimes we're going to discuss different questions and their explanation. And maybe I'm going to discuss about a little bit of motivation that all of us need. And this is going to be fun, this is going to be helpful, so please do like, share, and subscribe the channel. Before going to the first episode, let me tell you that in the description you'll find the link to my channel store and where you can find my exclusive notes and tutor and videos prepared for using list of one. Right, so that's it. So let's begin the first episode of Yosemite Unlimited. Welcome everyone to the Yosemite Unlimited first episode. So today we are going to discuss a question. So let's see what is it. The question describes that a three-year-old male kid was brought to you by his mother. The mother said that the kid is not growing well like her other kids. So this is generally a vague description that is found usually in the pediatric question. Okay, let's see what else is there. He also has a history of multiple hospital admission in the past two years. So it's kind of a kind of reminding you of a chronic condition so let's see what else is there because these are vague clues not so specific clues the mother also said that while kissing the forehead of the kid it tastes salty so if you look at this clue you will think about something so i think you are thinking what i am thinking so whenever you look at this kind of clue that says that the mother kissing the forehead and there is salty taste what it reminds you I hope you are thinking about cystic fibrosis, right? What happens in cystic fibrosis? There is deficiency of the chloride channel in case of functionality or in number, and that leads to increased salt content, increased salt content in the sweat. So that's why these kids for it may taste salty. And also, if you look at the other clue now, it makes sense that it's a chronic condition and there is multiple hospitalization. Maybe due to the pneumonia, the most common thing that appears in the cystic fibrosis patients. Or there is growth retardation, also that reminds you about the cystic fibrosis because cystic fibrosis patient suffers from growth retardation. So the question now asks you, what is the most common mutation that is involved in the pathogenesis of the disease? Now, I want to tell you something, that whenever you look at this type of question, the US Assembly usually like to ask you about, like to ask you um, this type of question, where you get to know, where you get to pass some steps. Like in this vignette, first you needed to find out that, okay, they're talking about cystic fibrosis, that was not mentioned in the question. Then you are going to the main question. So my suggestion would be to look at the last line of the question first and then look at the option a very little glimpse and then go and choose your answer so look at the last line first give a glimpse to the option and then go choose your answer so if you look at the answer choice those says that less chloride channel formation it can be a possibility because sometimes in cystic fibrosis there is less chloride channel misfolded chloride channel formation it can be another possibility for cystic fibrosis no chloride channel formation that can be another possibility for cystic fibrosis chloride channel with misconductance it is another possibility for cystic fibrosis chloride channel with less functionality hmm. another possibility for cystic fibrosis so you might think, what can be the answer? Everything sounds like cystic fibrosis pathogenesis. But you need to look at the question very carefully. It says, what is the most common 
mutation that is involved in the pathogenesis of the disease. So in cystic fibrosis, what happens that if it is a cell, suppose this is a cell from the sweat gland duct, and there is this channel that is called a chloride channel, also sometimes called the CFTR channel. This channel is a protein, and we know that proteins are getting synthesized by some steps, like from the DNA. There will be RNA formation, mRNA, and that mRNA will come out of the nucleus, and then it will take part in the protein synthesis, like with the help of the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the ribosome the protein will be made, this chloride channel will be made, and then this chloride channel will be transported through the Golgi to this transmembrane area. Now, if there is some problem in these steps, any of the steps that can lead to cystic fibrosis, but most commonly what happens that there is a misfolded protein formation. That means this protein was not folded well, maybe it's like this, and that's why the regulation of the protein to the transmembrane is not happening and that's why there is less chloride channel and that's why there is cystic fibrosis. Now that's the way you should look for the question and if you have listened to me carefully that you need to know the different facts like here this question is a fact-based question that what is the most common mutation you need to know what is the most common mutation. Even if you know the pathogenesis, that doesn't suffice. So in case of your summary, you need to know a lot. That means you need to memorize a lot. At the same time, you need to have to have the concept. All right. So let's see what is the answer. The answer says B, misfolded chloride channel formation. So that is the answer and it's kind of a fact-based answer although you first needed to know what the question is describing about and then you needed to reach the answer all right so that's about today and we'll come back with episode two of this year's only unlimited and make sure to check the description for the digital content i offer to sell in online and there includes exclusive notes and videos of your some list of one preparation. Thank you very much. Goodbye.